What's up everybody? It's the Common Sense Investor coming at you with another video. And last night I was studying the charts and I'm trying to get a feel what's going on, what's the algorithm's next move. And I just couldn't get it. It wasn't coming to me. So I said to myself, well go relax and watch an educational video because I like to watch educational videos as a pastime is how I relax. So since I'm doing comparison charts, if you click right here on your trading view, you can compare any symbol or crypto. In this particular case, let's use GME. And GME's price action comes up. But the thing is, it gives me these percentages over here, and I could change that right here. But then when I do, the lines are this far apart so it wasn't working out so I was like okay well since I'm gonna learn something new let's go learn maybe I could pick up a trick or two about the comparison charts and man did I learn a lot and did I stumble upon something that's just insane I want to take a look this is the comparison chart for GME on the line and AMC is the candlestick but we're gonna go over to GME and here on GME we can see the price action the candlestick patterns that it's using okay now if you notice right here that's where the price action fell and then it came back up and went to there first thing I learned last night was I could change this into a line when I do the blue line is gonna signify GME and the price action and do you see that that was the price difference between the split okay now I don't know why it's registering eight dollars and nine dollars here when it should register 36 and this 36 should be up there at the dollar uh, 150 but any at any rate this is the line pattern of the price action now I meant to do sundial last night and instead of hitting sundial which is right here I hit BBIG now I meant to compare GME's price action with Sundial, but when I came over here to click Sundial, I accidentally hit BBIG, and I compared BBIG to GME, and look at what I found. See right here, it still it does it wrong. So I got to come over here and turn it off. Let's do it again. BBIG, and then there's three buttons right here. I want new price scale. Now what happens is BBIG's price comes over here and GME's price comes over here. All right, And I can make GME's prices smaller and BBIG stays the same or I can make BBIG smaller or I can make it the same. That's awesome. But what I noticed more than anything was this. Do you see it? Let me click over here now and get this. look at that see those two spots they're exactly the same prove it to you first let's turn BBIG back into its line oh we can leave it can well line and we see that that's it and this is GameStop is the candlesticks so we're going to capture the bars pattern right here and we want it from this day all day where it consolidated then the drop off and then the rest of the consolidation afterwards now we have a bars pattern the bars pattern for this right here the day that it consolidated, the day it fell, and the day it's back up. Okay. Now, now that we have that, we can click on it and draw it in and look at it. And we got it pretty much lined up down here where it's supposed to go. Now, that looks closer. All right. Now what I want to do is turn my BBIG line into BBIG candles 
and let's see what happens. You can barely see it, but it's real faint right there. Price action there, and move this up a little bit. Price action right there. If we go to the chart for BBIG itself, on the 10 minute chart, you can see it yourself. Consolidated, straight drop, consolidated, straight upwards movement, consolidated again to right there. So, what does that tell me? That tells me BBIG and GameStop are running probably a day apart. Looking back at GameStop, we see we see it here again. It consolidated, drop, consolidate, rise, consolidate. And then when I compare it to BBIG again, now that you know all this and you know what to be looking for, you too can see that it consolidated, fell, consolidated, rose, consolidated. And I know they got a lot of GME warriors and apes and they got Sundial and they got BBIG but I think AMC holds some more of the shareholders and that's why the next video I'm going to show you why this was Friday's action. Why that happened and then what this means. Love y'all. Be blessed. See you in the next video.